Ladies and gentlemen, we have talked a lot of crap about NBA analysts being wrong, but let's give them their credit when they're actually right. You, Wait, hey, well, guess why? The Suns, right? the Suns, Hold listen, Hold listen now. Mm. The Suns are going to pass oh. on by Luka Doncic. Wow. Listen, when I played in the I'm Spanish League, okay, this the kid was about 16 sucks, or 17 uh, years one. old at the time, balling out for Real Madrid. And for those who don't know, if this is baseball, he's playing for the Yankees at 16 wait, years wait, wait, old. Wait, wait, wait. Ryan Holland really ball. saw the future, it, it, man. It's soccer, he's Cristiano now, a lot of people would dig exactly. out Luka, though. It was crazy. Exactly. <laughs> so, this Luka Dutchess, as I watch him, he's 6'8", 6'9". He can shoot the ball. He's mm. a guy out of this entire draft that understands angles. And he's a guy also that can play the point guard position in a positionless basketball game and mm. play all the ball off the ball. You can put this guy anywhere on the floor. He's going to be successful. Yo, I'm not going to lie, bro. If there's one analyst that I feel like we hated on just a little bit too, just a little bit too much. Oh, you might be wild. Loki might be Ryan Hollins, man, because he was right about that Giannis shit, man, in the playoffs. Oh, my God. God, holy, saying, holy man. hell! No, he was saying. not. No, he he was he was wrong about Giannis, bro. He he's he still wrong. He's still wrong, man. Yeah, Giannis literally did what he said he couldn't do, uh, literally. Okay, man. Okay. This is twenty twenty one. Just doesn't matter to you. This is crazy. It's a number. The whole man. year. That's literally your bubble. I love him. He won everything <laughs> possible with Real Madrid. Today I love you. You, you, you know your stuff. You, 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 you Ryan Holland's there, again? Are you kidding me to tell me that oh Luka should have been number one? I've been Ryan Holland's appreciation post. Been drafted number one. I played in the Spanish league the this same Luka time Luka was yeah. there. The one thing I know about that league oh, is very Luka first skill hand. based. There's no weaknesses in this kid's game. He's been playing against grown men. So as he gets to the NBA, that transition was going to be I will be say serious. a lot of doubters on Luka the didn't the watch NBA, Luka. NBA basketball is played today is very positionless. It's very guard oriented. Those are the guys that go and win you. Hear me. Hear me. They win you championships. So Luka Doncic is a guy who's six eight. He can play the point guard Give him position. Give time, Chad. Give him time. Pass. If there's one night, you gotta find too, it, today, It's athleticism. And I'm not. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Like uh -oh. I can see when I felt uh -oh. something uh -oh. different going into the series. He was going up against a team led by Kawhi Leonard, the best in the game and the best defensively. Siakam is an excellent defender, particularly on you Giannis. Under Ibaka, Gasol. They have long, great They're defenders. Man, I, want you, I want you to understand why it's overrated. Mm. Right now, okay. the counter to what Giannis does is play harder, push harder, mm. push harder. That doesn't work in the playoffs. He's got to get a turnaway, <laughs> oh, a fadeaway Lord. jumper. He's got to get a hit. <laughs> is he wrong? Is he wrong, Sage? The, what, what do you? Is he wrong in terms of saying that Giannis's counter to winning playoff games is just for him to be play harder? Yes, Gian, Giannis learned how to pass the ball. <laughs> like Gian, Giannis learned how to pass the ball significantly better. Um, truthfully, Gian, Giannis just needs to not be shy and go out on the perimeter and defend. And then, of course, if he was able to shoot better, no, no. let me just be straight up with you. Do you think Giannis is a great playoff performer? Yes, that's why he's overrated. This is insane. Oh my god. Great playoff performer. So Tony Tony really doesn't matter to him. This, oh this is my. insane. <laughs> this is insane. Tony, so like it's a not whole, that it doesn't matter, but Sage, that, that ain't the only year he's been in the playoffs. That's my I know. point. And and prior to he had struggles. Prior to I was doubting, but since mm -hmm. since that, the only two games, and this would be the strongest, there you go, that you have. The only two games where I've been like, nah, Giannis, you fucking suck since that run are um, Game 7 against y'all, and even then it wasn't that bad, and Game 7 this year, and then again it wasn't that bad. It's just the standards for this nigga are like, you know, best player in the world level. So you having, what was it, 9 of 21 the first time? And what was he this time? I don't remember. I'm sorry. Yo, he was he was like 4 of 12 in the, from the fourth quarter to OT. Uh, missed like 15 free throws that game. No, no, no. What was his total stay? Let me get, let me get, let me get the, and, this, and this is, oh let me my get the God. Whole game. Look Hold at on. this box Hold score on. watching ass dude. Not, no, 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 no. You said 4 12 from the fourth quarter. Look at, uh, get all, log off of Twitter for me. Log off of Twitter. We're getting the entire basketball game. I, I know Tatum had his, his little stinker until the last six shots, and that's what y'all look for in Boston. But over here, we value the entire basketball game where Giannis had 30 and 20. Oh my God, bro. Oh my. This is this is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think he's 
not good. So we're going to stop that. I don't think he's not good. I definitely would argue great considering he's done it at the highest level. Can't say that for a lot of players. And even if it's just one, can't say that for a lot of players. And he's also had historic playoff games as well. Final answer. Yes, he is a great playoff. Great. Performer. Okay. Okay. Yes. But that, all I'm saying in this chat, that is exactly why he is overrated. But get, let, okay, let's so keep How going. is he not? How is he not? How, you know what? Play the bit. Play the you're, you're telling me, no, 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 we're, we're still <laughs> no, 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 no,
My problem with James Harden in the postseason is Harden has Anthony Davis syndrome on crack. James Harden will literally go out for series after series and be awful the entire time, but will be fantastic in round one. I've seen James Harden give y'all 40 and then not add up 40 for like two other games. <laughs> like it, it's it's crazy. He's not he's not only inconsistent, but if he is being consistent, he's consistently playing badly. Giannis is okay like a b plus at worst in these games where he has choked i'm not gonna do this failure to step six success shit with him he's choked and he's failed but like there there's games where he's failing and it's not like yo you fucking suck it's you're not playing to the level you need to play Harden one the floors are flooring to the high highs ain't as high as uh Giannis in there so that if we really want to go there we can go there like the best playoff Harden game ain't fucking with like Giannis is three so now nah, let, let me rephrase the question then. Do you think Harden is a bad playoff performer? I do. I do. Well, that's my case, chat. I'll leave it I'll leave it up to chat to determine. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never been so confident in a take possible. <laughs> yeah, I've never I've never been so okay. <laughs> chat, if if I'm smoking something, let me know. But I'm pretty positive we will all agree. It's been eleven years now. Yeah, he's not that he, He's a regular season guy, and that's fine. I'm just saying, bro, for a guy who choked in 18, for a guy who choked in 19, for a guy who choked in 20, 22, and 23, to say that guy's a great playoff performer is crazy. 21? He didn't choke in 2020? Tw oh, in 2020. Oh, yeah. I thought you said 2020. I thought you said in 2021. I was like, oh, what the hell? No, no, no. 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 Literally every year, the last six years, aside from a championship year. Giannis just became one. Also, I disagree with you there. But Giannis just became a good playoff performer to me. A great pl playoff performer to me. I didn't I wouldn't I wouldn't argue you in 2017, 18, and 19, because I haven't viewed Giannis the same. One of my most viral clips that people tagged me in all the time was me saying Giannis is at seven in uh, 2020. People hated that take. And I died by the hill. I was like, at that point in time, yo, Giannis weren't that nice. Giannis got nice. He didn't look back. Not arguing, not arguing with you prior to 2020 after 2020 oh yeah i died by a great player for him wait and back it up <laughs> you can go beast mode game you can go monster go game post. whatever kind of game you want. he backed Shit. it up and made a resounding statement that echoed all the way back to my hometown of oklahoma city you blew it thunder james harden Listen, uh, he, he brought that hey, being right on this after his first that, game that was not a in Houston. Game to win. That's impressive, though. That's impressive. Yeah, I'm about to say, did he say this like the episode before? Yeah. This is literally after his Rockets debut. Nine, mostly because of James Harden. Yeah, and I'm gonna a take lot of one people felt this way, too. From this. And I the more I look at it, the more shocked I am that the Oklahoma City Thunder didn't at least play this out for the year because clearly they took, you, you disagree with this. It was this. over like four and a half mil, too. They took a big step back with an eye on the future at the expense My hot take of this is, year. I don't think they win if, if they get Harden. I don't get it because they could have played out this year. Oh, they could have done a sign and retweet. trade for Ooh, James Harden. Or, yeah. silly me, I, I thought about this, you could amnesty Perkins and you could just flat out open your pocketbook and pay the luxury tax that it would cost to sign James Harden to a max. It was doable. I, I know some of those owners there, Stephen A., they have a whole lot of money, serious money. <laughs> and it's almost like on principle, they said, we're not going to pay that much luxury tax. Why not? There he is. Baloney. 37 and 12 assists in Detroit. Come back win, and you don't have him. What do you do in Oklahoma City? And what are you doing, Stephen A., picking Oklahoma City, even though they don't have James Harden anymore? I've been waiting for this, my friend. <laughs> Who's winning this series? Oh, I thought this was the Iguodala. <laughs> oh, I thought it was the Iggy clip. I'm like, you've been. Oh, As Stephen no. A would say, what is it you do, Stephen A? Austin uh, Powers? Uh, Look. Oh, man. I'm assuming Shag Kevin me. Durant's not playing. The fact mm -hmm. is, when, the, when they signed Kevin Durant, it's an unfair advantage for the Warriors. With KD, you always pick them, right? Dang, production. You have a I'm slight echo there. You might want to fix He's that. Playing game one, that's for sure. Let me talk about Sage's bike. has home court. Toronto has guys that, like, they ain't gonna, that was a three of the four games against Portland was close for Golden State, Stephen A, because they were dominating the offensive boards. They were able to win. Draymond Green, to me, was actually the MVP of that series. But as Jalen Rose, are you aware of uh, Jalen Rose, Molly? You two should meet. I think you'd like him. I, I Jalen Rose kicked his coverage. But, uh, pointed <laughs> out on say. first take yesterday. This is not 
the previous series. There's Siaka okay. and Abaka and Gasol and big guys who can crash the glass. The Warriors will not be dominating the offensive. I don't even Stephen think it was Smith, like size being able to board. It was size being able to move. In this series is Kawhi and Leonard, injuries. with or without KD. And injuries, of course. <laughs> but without KD, it's going to be too much. And the Toronto Raptors will be NBA champions. Yeah. 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 Max, 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 Max. 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 Three more times in this series, and it's going to be over. That's what it looked like last night. Because, so you played in the Cavs gonna sweep. Yeah, that's what it looked like last night. I'm just talking about all I. I'm, I have a prisoner of last. You night know night it's bad when saw. Skip because not trolling on Bron. Yeah. Play the best game I have watched them play, and I watch every Cavaliers game. Really? I think you'll see a tighter coverage tonight. Yo. Is that your prediction? That's a crazy amount of hate. You hate LeBron so much, you're going to watch every single one of his games so you know what you're hating on. That, yo, that's crazy, dog. <laughs> that's nuts. That's nuts. Can't tell Skip he don't watch the game now. One, one thing Bayless going to do, he going to watch some LeBron. Yeah. Now, when he slander him, it comes from biased goggles or whatever, but damn it, the goggles was on. The lens are, the lens are prescribed. You know what I'm saying? I respect it. I respect it. Listen, man, a broken clock is right twice a day. And this was eight straight minutes of a broken clock being right twice a day. No, I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> they've, they've been right more than that. They've been right. More than that. Hey, I'm about to say it. I feel like this video didn't do a lot of justices because we are we're looking for when we, we make these videos the spicy take. And when you're saying something so painfully obviously true. It's not going to chart well on TV. That's why this video, in terms of whether it's our energy or their energy, some of you may be like, ah, cool, and move on with your day. Because ultimately, that's how TV is. And now, when Stephen A. goes on there and says, uh, I don't know, fuck Ben Simmons shit, he didn't even say that. But if he were to go do that, that's going to trend. But when he's just saying, yeah, you know, the Nuggets are a great team, it's not going to get the clicks. So I understand why these analysts do it. Uh, I'm painfully aware that they say the shit for entertainment, but um, I just want to say I didn't see Perk in this video, and that's it's kind of tough. <laughs> that's kind that's kind of tough, man. I want I want to shout out Perk, man. You're giving us two great slogans, but uh, I missed you here. I missed you. Listen, man, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. Peace.